What is up? This is Rektar. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dead Space 2. In the last episode, we got to this maintenance route. Oh, that's so creepy. In the last episode, we got to this maintenance route, um, whoa, that the one lady directed us to. Oh, do this. Alright, cool. And, oh, this guy. Okay, wait, if we kill this guy, I can get a blade off of him. Yes! Oh, it, oh. Except for the problem is pulling things around is not the safest thing ever. Oh, he's gonna throw up on me. Nope, we, we, we gotta get away from that one. Or we gotta kill him. Oh, crap. No! No, no. This guy has like a million health. I gotta shoot his legs off. Fuck, this is going so badly right now. I just wasted a shit ton of ammo. Oh, he's too close. I should have used more kinesis and stasis, and now I just used a bunch of ammo. Oh well. Oh well, we're okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So yeah, we're on the maintenance route at this point in life. And can I go through here now? Yep. And we're about to do, from what I believe, a, a zero gravity section. Oh, I got a crush! Oh man, this is gonna be bad for somebody as stupid as me. I gotta remember to do this every time. Get my loot. Do these guys not have any loot on them? Loot with a L and an E and a W and a T? I guess not. That's unfortunate because I needed I need items. <laughs> I'm playing as you know, as I've stated, I'm playing on survival and I could always use some items. Alright. I guess we'll have to take out a line racks for this. Entering zero gravity. Okay. Oh wait, what's launch and land is new now, it's left control stick. Oh, I hit the, so I guess I hit the control stick button now? Oh, whoa. Oh. I've got little jetpacks now. I, that's ridiculous. Maybe they thought that the physics in the first one weren't like, alright. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely new and unusual and very unique. That's cool. Like, I don't know... I'm trying to think of, like, if I think that's awesome or if I think that's crazy, but... I guess it's crazy and awesome. Like, I really liked the gravity puzzles in the other one where you had to, like, take off and land while... Like, where you shot around. You know what's ridiculous is, like, you can point yourself in some really weird directions like this. If this were realistic... Whoa! Okay, cool. So I have to get through there. Wowzers. Oh man. I just kinda like love... I'm kinda loving just floating around right now. I'm sure that will hurt me eventually. <laughs> the fact that I'm just like floating around in outer space is super fun to do. Alright, cool. Get out my line right. Oh. Wait, what just happened? What's that corpse doing? Oh, okay. Oh! Oh! Stop doing that! You know what I did? I was trying to... That's the alternate fire mode on this weapon. So I accidentally just wasted two ammo. Damn, I'm an idiot. Alright. And uh, do I have... Did I pick up plasma energy just now? Yes, I did. Alright, cool. Get a nice full clip in there. That way, and I'll do this instead of accidentally firing space landmines. Okay, so yeah, I need to open this, presumably. Yep. Oh, does that open it? Does that make... Let's keep my ass to the wall here in case something bad happens. Oh! Let's see what comes through. I'm sure some badness if I keep my eyes peeled. Well, alright, just some, like, crates and shit. Alright, whatever, well, not sure what's going on with that, so let's just go in here and see what kind of stupid shit I just, uh, unleashed upon myself. Because I'm sure there's now gonna be some sort of enemies here. Or I, oh, or I just, the point is I just have to dodge shit, okay. Wow, so yeah, you know what? Okay, and then boost his left bumper. Yep. So, 
so one thing I've heard a lot about this game that people have said in general is that oh it's left oh it's left bumper okay one thing I've heard a lot about this game in general is that it's just more like action packed orient to ground okay Ooh. okay uh, cool I've heard a lot about this game, just that it's more action-packed, and I guess, like, puzzles like that where you're flying instead of just, like, going around pressing switches, I would say that is more action-packed, I suppose. Alright, so... Oh, who is wanting to... my peen? The lights wouldn't have gone out if no one was wanting to my peen right now. That, I can assure you. Alright, are these not things on the ground? Oh, these are more Kinesis things that you can pick up and... Dude, I love that, that um, in this game they kind of like put the Kinesis things all over the ground for you to pick up and do this. Alright, if anything attacks me, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Even though you're probably going to scare me when you pop out, I'm still ready for you. Where are you? Where are you? I know there's enemies. Ooh, there you are. Haha! -ha. Yeah! And then check this out. Oh, what? Oh, he's not dead. Let's run back and grab the other one. As long as I... Oh, wow, it is so dark in here. Like, this isn't even... If you're, like, watching right now and you're like... Is it like this because of the, um... Because of the way that... YouTube and Sony Vegas darkens things all the time? The answer is no. It's like this because this room is just freaking dark. Like, I want to have my... I can't even barely see in this shit. So I need to have like my flashlight on, All right? Yeah, detonator mines. Don't have a weapon that uses those yet, but still pretty cool. Okay. Oh, and we're going to get our first instance of Yep. Gotcha. Well, instead of doing that, even though that's what I'm supposed Oh, this was like a store that was working. Maybe it'll work once I put the power in. Well, I don't want to put the power in just yet, because I want to do this. Yeah, use a power node! Come on. Alright. I don't know if they... Is that... Could that be an enemy? No. I was like, I don't know if they're going to put enemies in any of these uh, little side rooms. Like, I do assume at some point, maybe they would, but... I always feel like these side rooms are kind of like... They're like safe houses, you know? They are meant to not be enemy ridden. Man, it is so dark. I guess maybe once we put that power cell in, the darkness will go away. All right, let's do it. Get the power cell in and see what happens. All right. Oh, and it's nice and friendly again. And did that turn the store on? No, it didn't. I thought maybe that that would be RP of the game to turn the store on like that, but whatever. It's its own video game, it can do whatever it wants. Did I already... Alright, cool. Well, let's move right along. Oh, the whispering's back already. I mean, I knew the whispering was going to return at some point, so... Alright. I like to kind of just, like, point myself in the middle here. With, with elevators with two doors, because I feel like any one could open. But usually, if it is an elevator with two doors, the one, like, this one will probably open, because it's usually the one that's, yeah, opposite of where we came in is the one that's gonna open it. Okay. And is that a power node, really? Dude, I feel like they're just raining power nodes down upon me in this game. Like, I don't know if that's like a thing, or I'm just wildly crazy. Oh, oh, dude, we're totally in unitologist territory here. There's the whisk. Whoa! Oh, it's these little guys. Note to self, get the flamethrower. Oh man. Oh fuck 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 I'm gonna lose much health here. Note to self, get the flamethrower, yeah. I remember the flamethrower was the weapon that I always complained about not having when I met up with those things, because I'm pretty sure that you can get rid of those guys with very little flamethrower ammo. And like I said, I never had the flamethrower, so it's like, how did I know that? Well the answer is I didn't actually know that. I just always suspected it. Oh, because let's try and see if I can... Oh, crap. 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 
Alright. Whoa, did I just launch a little guy at a big guy? Oh, no. Man, these guys even would be hard to take out with, uh... I don't want to waste a bunch of ammo on these things, but they're going to jump on me if I c go up to them. Man, these guys are even... I definitely am going to need the flamethrower, because with the limited ammo that gets provided to... Wait. I hear the little guys. Where are they? Oh, there you are. With the limited ammo that they're going to provide to me, I need to find a really ammo-efficient method for taking those guys out, those little things out. And I definitely feel like the most ammo-efficient... efficient... efficient method would be, um... a flamethrower, because, like, one little burst from the flamethrower, I think... And like I said, once again, this is just a theory, but I feel like one little burst from the flamethrower would just take all those guys out. I don't know, like... Yep, they've got the fucking things on, marker, this, yep. Dude, Dana is totally a unitologist. Like, I... The further I go... I'm sorry, you look like a full body, but I'm just gonna have to chunk you up. Just in case anything goes down, you know? Like, I don't want to do that to, you know, fellow... Oh, wow, that creeped the shit out of me. I don't want to do that to fellow former humans. Oh. Oh, dude, this room... Yep. I was like, this room's gonna have bad things in it. Also, Isaac, I'd like to make a point that, um, and, you know, maybe you're not feeling this like I am. I'd like to point out that Nicole also didn't have glowing red eyes and mouth. So, you know, if your reasoning is that Nicole is dead, I would also venture that she is not Nicole simply based on the fact that her eyes and mouth glow, you know, but maybe that's just me. All right, let's see if there's some random enemies over here. I'm really hoping for a save point here pretty soon. I don't know how to look up my map in this game, to be honest. I know that might sound dumb. Oh, Stasis back. Stasis is actually valuable in this game. Man, I wonder so who goes around and sets up all these candles. Like, I feel like I'm on, like, in, like, a unitologist area of the entire ship now, to be honest. Oh. Dana, time and soldiers have found me. They're tracking me in some sort of gunship. You're almost here. Hurry. I assume that's gonna start shooting at me if I don't run through this room, but I don't want to miss any, like, loot. Tidemen soldiers. I mean, I guess shooting me wouldn't... They want me alive because they want to know what I know about the marker. Or at least that's what I've gathered so far, is that... They... Oh, crap! Ugh! Ugh! Alright. That was easy enough. I really do... Um want a save point here. Like, at first they're like throwing them at me left and right, and now I can't even seem to find one. Oh well. Alright. No items in here? Oh, but you know what I should remember to do? Get his item. Oh, maybe I already did. Alright, Lollivator. Too bad I'm having all these Nicole visions. Whoa, crap. Do you think it's gonna come from there? Or it's gonna come from here. Oh, nope, there's a save point though. And as always, save points are a great place for me to segue into the ending. So this has been Raktar. Thank you for watching. <laughs>